Which of the following is not an application of flame emission photometers? A. Analysis of biological fluids. B. Determination of sodium potassium in soil. C. Determination of metals such as M and Q. D. Analysis of complex mixtures. The correct answer is Analysis of complex mixtures. Given below is the diagram of flame emission photometers. Identify the unmarked component. A. Filter. B. Atomizer. C. Pressure regulator. D. Burner. The correct answer is Burner. Given below is the diagram of evacuated glass tube of photoemissive tube. Identify the part which is indicated with a question mark. A. Anode. B. Cathode. C. Grid. D. Dynode. The correct answer is Cathode. Which of the following is not a detector used in flame emission photometers? A. Photronic cell. B. Photovoltaic cell. C. Photoemissive tube. D. Chromatogram. The correct answer is Chromatogram. In flame emission photometers the measurement of is used for qualitative analysis. A. Color. B. Intensity. C. Velocity. D. Frequency. The correct answer is Color. Which of the following is the principle of flame emission photometers? A. Radiation is absorbed by non-excited atoms in vapor state and are excited to higher states. B. Medium absorbs radiation and transmitted radiation is measured. C. Color and wavelength of the flame is measured. D. Only wavelength of the flame is measured. The correct answer is. Color and wavelength of the flame is measured. Which of the following is the advantage of prism monochromators? A. Dispersion is non-overlapping. B. Dispersion occurs in non-linear manner. C. Dispersion is overlapping. D. Dispersion occurs in a linear manner. The correct answer is. Dispersion is non-overlapping. Which of the following is the advantage of grating monochromators? A. Dispersion is non-overlapping. B. Dispersion occurs in non-linear manner. C. Dispersion is overlapping. D. Dispersion occurs in a linear manner. The correct answer is. Dispersion occurs in a linear manner. Which of the following is not an advantage of a photovoltaic cell which is used as a detector in flame emission photometers? A. Portable. B. No external supply. C. Robust in construction. D. Does not show fatigue. The correct answer is. Does not show fatigue. In flame emission photometers the measurement of is used for quantitative analysis. A. Color. B. Intensity. C. Velocity. D. Frequency. The correct answer is. Intensity. In the most widely used beam splitter a thin film of is sandwiched between two plates of low refractive index solid. Fill the blank with a suitable option. A. Mylar. B. Silicon carbide. C. Ferrous oxide. D. Silver chloride. The correct answer is Mylar. Laminar flow burner used in flame photometers is also known as A. Turbulent burner B. Premix burner C. Total consumption burner D. Nozzle mix burner The correct answer is Premix burner. Which of the following is not an advantage of laminar flow burner used in flame photometry? A. Noiseless B. Stable flame for analysis. C. Efficient atomization of sample. D. Sample containing two or more solvents can be burned efficiently. The correct answer is. Sample containing two or more solvents can be burned efficiently. Which of the following is not true about Fourier transform infrared flare spectrometer? A. It is of non-dispersive type. B. It is useful where repetitive analysis is required. C. Size has been reduced over the years. D. Size has increased over the years. 
The correct answer is. Size has increased over the years. In total consumption burner only samples of particular droplet size will enter the burner. A true. B false. C. D. The correct answer is. False. Phototubes are more sensitive than photovoltaic cells. A true. B false. C. D. The correct answer is. True. The function of pressure regulators in the emission system of flame photometer is to have a steady flame which is free from flickers. A true. B false. C. D. The correct answer is. True.